Okay, good morning everyone. For today, we're going to discuss all about quarter one, module one rather, quarter two of science seven. This is yours truly, Sir Topper, your science seven teacher. And this is part two, module one, science seven, quarter two. Okay, so before we start, let's pray. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Father God, come be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our classrooms with peace. Fill our lessons with fun. Fill our friendships with kindness. Fill our school with love. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. So for today, we're going to discuss the second part of Module 1, Quarter 2 of Science 7. This is same under the microscope, but this time we're going to tackle about parts and functions of microscope. So what I need to know, so these are our objectives for the day. After going through this module, you are expected to define microscope, state the function of a microscope, identify the various type of microscope, label the parts of the microscope, and describe the functions of each part of the microscope. So let's start. What I know. So this is a review quiz. Okay, you read each question carefully using the class point of K in only the letter of the correct answer for each question. And the class code is 63407. Are you ready? So let's have this. Okay. What do you have to watch from the side when changing objectives? A facilitates a change. Objectives to focuses or brings out object observed, facilitates the change on a five piece, connects the eye pieces to revolving nose piece with the objectives. Okay, so what is the correct answer for this? The correct answer for this is letter. Okay. Letter C. 1, 2, and 4 only. Okay, let's proceed with question number 2. The magnification of a microscope is equal to length. A. Magnification power of the objective lens divided by that of the other lens. B. The magnification power of the objective lens divided by the Okay, the correct answer for this is letter C. Okay, so that's the correct answer. Next, let's have it.
Okay, let's show the correct answer. The correct answer is letter C, so that light could pass through the specimen. Okay, so we're through with that. What's new? Good job, you made it. In the previous activity, you were able to tell how was the microscope started and who are the scientists who made the device possible. I hope you can use the same skills about the activities we will discuss in this module. Are you excited? Let's start. But before we're going to proceed with the next activity, I will show you an example of a compound microscope in its different parts. So, here it is. Okay, so as you can see, this is the compound mic microscope. This part is called the eyepiece. This bigger one is called the coarse adjustment knob. The smaller one is called the fine adjustment knob. And this part at the back of the microscope is called the arm. And this one that holds a micro microscope is called the base. Let's proceed with the right side. This part is called body tube. And this part that holds the objective lenses, this tree, is called revolving nose piece. And this one, we have the stage. And then this part is called the stage clip. And the diaphragm is just below the stage. And this one is called the mirror the source of light okay let's move on do you know or do you now recognize the parts of the microscope let us try this activity this just for you okay activity 2.1 chop chop and away what to do look at the different parts of the microscope below or the next slide rather name each part and write your answer using our class point up. We have the class code 63407. Are you ready? Let's start. Okay. What part of the microscope is this? I think this is at the back part of the microscope. Let's reveal the answer. The correct answer is it's the arm of the microscope. Very good. Okay, let's have question number two. Short answer. Okay, time is up. Let's reveal the answer. The answer is... It is called the eyepiece. Yes. Congratulations. Okay, let's have number three. And this is the picture. What is a given to this part of the microscope? I think it is located beneath stage go okay time is up let's reveal the answer okay the answer is it is called the mirror very good Okay, let's proceed with question number four, or picture number four, and five. So for number four, what part is this of the microscope? And for number five, what part is this? Sometimes it is three, but this time it is more than three. So they are called what? Just 
KIN 63407 as our class code. Okay, time is up. Let's reveal the answer. The answers are, for number 4, we have revolving nose piece. Yes. Congratulations. Okay, for number 5, we have objective lens. Congratulations. Okay, so let's have the next picture. What are the names given for number 6 and number 7? This big one is called what? Of the microscope. And this is the smaller one. What is the name given to that part of the microscope? Okay, time is up. Okay, so let's reveal the answers. For number six, it is called course adjustment. Congratulations. For number seven, we have fine adjustment. Congratulations. Okay, for those who got it right, congrats. Okay, let's have the next picture. So, what is the name given to this part? the microscope. Eight, nine seconds more. Okay, time is up. Let's reveal the answer. The name given for that is called the body tube. Very good. Okay, so I think we have eight pictures. Let's have this for the last picture. What's the name given for this part of the microscope and the lower part of that? Okay, for 30 seconds, go. Okay, time is up. Let's reveal the answer. The correct answers are for number nine. It's a stage. Very good. And for number ten is diaphragm. Congratulations. Okay, so with this, you are familiarized with the parts of the microscope. So this time, let's see what are the usage of this or uses. Okay, so let's start. What is it? What is a microscope? What are the functions of the different parts of the microscope? And what are the types of microscopes? Okay, so start with a microscope comes from the ancient Greek micros, meaning small or scopian, which means to look. It is a tool which can help you to see tiny objects and living organism. It makes them look bigger. The science of investigating small objects and structures using such an instrument or using microscope is called microscopy. What makes a microscope determine how clearly a small object can be viewed? This is because of the magnification. Okay. Magnification describes how much larger an object appears when viewed. So for instance, you're given a magnifying glass. So when you see by your naked eye the surroundings, it's not bigger than when you place that in your eyes. It makes larger. Okay? And... The magnification is written on the side of the lens. The value could be 4x, 10x, 40x, or 100x. So these are samples of the magnification of the objectives. We have 4 times 10 here. Okay, 
okay so 4x 10x 20x 40x so they have different magnification okay so calculating magnification how to calculate the magnification used when viewing a specimen with the compound microscope so as you can see this is a microscope this is a compound microscope and we are given objectives but they are for in different magnification in compound microscope the magnification is going to be determined by the magnification of the objective used as well as the magnification of the eyepieces which are 10x so si eyepieces meron na siyang 10x madadagdagan pa siya ng magnification ng given objectives dyan sa ilalim so mas lalaki siya that means when you view a specimen with the eyepiece only the specimen appears to be 10 times larger than with the naked eye Nung ginamitan mo pa ng mga um, objectives, mas lalaki pa rin siya. So, depende sa gagamitin mo. Okay, let's move on. To calculate the total magnification of compound light microscope, you need to multiply the magnification power of the ocular lens by the power of the objective lens. So, by formula, we have total magnification is equal to Magnification of eyepiece or the ocular lens times the magnification of the given objective lens. So, magbabago yung magnification ng objective lens. Okay? Depende sa gamit. Pero si magnification of eyepiece lens is always 10x. For example, the 10x ocular lens and the 40x objective would have a 400x total magnification. All you need to do is multiply the coefficient. We have 10 and 40. So 10 times 40 is 400 and copy x. Okay. So as you can see, magnification of the objectives. If we have the 10x objective, you need to multiply it by 10. That is the normal with the ocular lens or the eyepiece lens. We have 100x nyan. If we have 4x naman, multiply mo siya ng 10, we have 40x. Malaki na siya. What if you're given 20x objective? So, multiply by 10. So, the object that you can view is 200x. And, if it is 40x objective, just multiply it by 10. So, it's very large. So, you can view that at 400x magnification. Okay? So, let's move on. The other one of magnification is the resolution or the resolving power. It is the capacity of microscope to distinguish finer details of an object or image. Okay. So, we are given types of microscopes which differ in their magnification and their resolving power. So, we have... The first is a very common optical microscope. It uses visible light to form an image. It uses glass lenses to magnify and resolve images. The image that was formed can be viewed from an eyepiece. Okay, so there are types of optical microscopes. First, we have the compound microscope or the compound optical microscope. It uses two or more double convex lenses to magnify the object. It can magnify object up to 1200x. The next one is the stereo microscope. This is also known as dissecting microscope. It magnifies the object 100x and gives three-dimensional image. With the type of microscope, after the optical, we have electron microscope. It uses high energy electron beams to form an image. The image that was formed can only be viewed from the photographic plate or from the computer screen. The image magnified can reach up to 2 million X. Okay. 
So there are two types of this electron microscope. The first one is TEM or the transmission electron microscope. Okay, it holds electron beam that passes through an ultra thin sample. The image magnified and focused onto the imaging device such as fluorescent screen and to be examined in fine detail. The other type is called the scanning electron microscope or SEM. So this is the picture at the right. In here, electron beam bounces off from the surface of the sample. Thus, the image provided is three-dimensional. So those are the two types of electron microscope. Okay, next is, let's see the basic parts of the microscope as you can see. It's just another review. Ocular, or it's uh, also called as eyepiece. Okay, nose piece that holds the objective lenses. The stage clip, the aperture is this part wherein you're going to place the specimen. The diaphragm is just below. Condenser is adjustable. If this is the light source, can be lump or any source of light. This is called the head, and this is the arm. Stage. Course adjustments, the bigger one. Smaller is the fine adjustment. This is one. We we'll control the stage. This is the base. And this is the in charge with the light switch. Okay. So let's have this. Let's talk about the first part of the microscope. Okay. As you can see here, this is called the eyepiece or ocular lens. This is the part used to look through the microscope. So you're going to use your eyes. Dito ko gagamitin ang mata mo. Sisilipin mo. Pwedeng left or po pwedeng right. Next is the body tube or the lens tube. So this is that body tube. It is connected with the eyepiece sa taas and the main task of this is to hold it. This one. Okay? The third one is called the uh, revolving nose piece. This one, revolving nose piece. It holds the objective lens. Okay, let's see. This part at the bottom. It is movable and can revolve the eye, the objective lenses, depending on the magnification power of the lenses. So, depending kung anong gagamitin mo dyan sa tatlo. The next one is arm. So obviously, this is it. This is the part connecting the base and the head and the eyepiece tube to the base of the microscope. It gives support to the head of the microscope and it is also used when carrying the microscope. Okay, let's move on. For number five, these are called objective. Objectives or other term is objective lenses. These are the major lenses used in specimen visualization. So you're going to use this one. It's either the three of this. Um, it depends upon your um, visualization. Okay. So most schools have light microscope with three objectives and others have four. Usually the shortest one mark 3x, 4x or 5x. It is called scanner. So lower power objective or the LPO is marked 10x or 12x. While the high power objective or the HPO is marked 40x, 43x or 60x. The objectives magnify the object to be observed to a certain size as indicated by the 3x, 10x or 20x objective. Okay, so next is the stage. Where is that? That is the stage. Stage is the platform that holds a specimen or sample for viewing. And for number seven, stage clips is that clip just behind the stage. It holds the specimen slides in place. Okay, for number eight, it's called diaprom. So here it is. It controls the amount of light that passes through the specimen. Okay. So course adjustment focuses the images under the scanner and the low power objective. So this is it, the bigger one. 
The next is fine adjustment. Okay, it focuses images under the high power and oil immersion objectives, the smaller one. For 11, we have the light source. It provides light for the specimen. It could be this one, a lamp or a mirror. And the last one is the base. The main function of this, it supports the microscope, so this area. Okay, what's more? I'm so happy that you did a great job in every challenge in this module. Now, let us test how far you've gone with our lesson. for the specimen and 10 magnify the specimens okay so for down we have one focuses images under the high power and oil immersion objectives number three it holds the slide in space or place rather number six this part is used to carry the microscope and number eight down part where the viewer views the sample okay let's reveal the answer Okay, so in here it is fine adjustment, microscope, stage clips, base, light source, arm, diaphragm, stage, and eyepiece. Okay, that's it. What I have learned, good job. It truly shows how much you enjoyed and learned our lesson. Are you ready to have some more? Let's start the ball rolling. Let's have the answer for this. Okay, for number one in column A, it holds the slide in place. It is letter B, stage clips. It holds objectives, letter C, revolving nose piece, provides light for the specimen. It is the diaphragm. This focuses the images under the HPO and oil immersion objectives. This is the fine adjustment. This part allows you to carry the microscope that is arm this supports a microscope the base focuses the images under the scanner and the lpo is called the course adjustment it provides a space where the slide can be examined and that is the stage and number nine it is connected with the eyepiece that is body tube and number 10 last number this is part used to look through the microscope and that is the ocular lens or the eyepiece okay so with this you are familiar with the basic parts of the microscope let's proceed what can i do so in this time of pandemic covid19 pandemic how useful is the microscope in detecting the viruses what kind of microscope is being used in studying this kind of virus so in here you are given criteria to follow in answering this task in order for you to be guided and lead to an appropriate answer. So you are going to write an essay about the COVID-19 pandemic. And they are given here the features on how to score your output. Quality of writing with 4, 3, 2, 1, grammar. 4321 so that will serve as your take home assignment okay so enough with this let's proceed so last part is the assessment so before we end the lesson we need to check if you know much about the lesson so directions read each item carefully write only the letter of the correct answer for each question 
key in your answers in our class point up with the class code of 63407. Okay, so let's have this one. Total magnification ob obtained by blank. A. Magnifying power of B. Magnifying power of conventional lenses. C. Magnifying power of the objective lens. And T. Magnifying power of both the objective lens and the eyepiece. Okay, let's see. What's the answer? Okay. So, what is the answer? The correct answer is letter D. Magnifying power of both the objective lens and the eyepiece. Okay, let's proceed with question number two. Which should be used to observe bacteria? 20x objective and 10x eyepiece. For 30x objective and 10x eyepiece. 100x oil immersion objective and 10x eyepiece. 100x oil immersion vector and 5x eyepiece. Go. Okay, let's see the correct answer. The correct answer is letter C. 10, 100x oil immersion objective times 10x eyepiece. Very good. Let's have number three question. Why does a microscope stage have a hole in it? A. To hold the specimen in place. B. To make the specimen visible. C. To secure the slide in the stage. Or D. To allow the light to pass through it. Go. Okay, in Vasco Okay, time is up. Let's reveal the answer. The correct answer is letter D, to allow the light to pass through. Okay, number three. A student wants to see the parts of plant cell in detail using high power objective. What part of the microscope will be manipulated? A, eyepiece. B, objective lenses. C, fine adjustment knob. Or D, force adjustment knob. So let's have the correct answer. The correct answer is letter C. It is the fine adjustment knob. Okay, let's move on. It is the ability of a microscope to distinguish a finer details in an image. A. Microscopy. B. Scanning ability. C. Magnification. D. Resolving power. Class code 63407. Okay, time is up. Let's reveal the answer. The correct answer is letter D, resolving power. Okay, so let's see. We are through with the assessment. So congratulations for those who got it perfect. So you are given here additional activities. So, encircle the parts of the microscope inside the word search box in vertical, horizontal, slanting spot and write its function below. So, this is a crossword puzzle or this is a puzzle. So, we're going to look for the words. What do you think? What are the words given there? Okay. So, with this, let's reveal the answer. First, we have in here we have the revolving nose piece in here we have base arm we have the course adjustment uh, the stage clips diaphragm fine adjustment uh, the stage okay so we have all of this present okay let's move on okay if you don't have any questions with the lesson for today so thank you then see you next time.